Hey, what's up you guys? How's it going? So this video right here is Draw My Life. Everyone's doing it, so I thought, yeah, why not? I'll do it as well. So this is me, Landon Dowlett Singh. But a lot of people can't say my last name, so let's just, uh, yeah. Let's just say do not sing, but I can't really sing. So this is my dad, this is my mother, this is my older sister, Leah, and the green guy right here is me, my favorite color, and my younger sister, Robin. So when I was about eight years old, I found out, oh, there's another part of my family. This is my half-brother. I drew him in black because, well, he's he's half black. My mom is married to another guy who was black, but I don't really know him, so let's just get rid of him. So my dad is from Trinidad, and my mom is from England, which makes me, I guess, half cool. I don't know. But me, I'm just from Canada, eh? Let's get back to my half-brother. When my mom named him, his name was Donnie, so I knew him as Donnie. But when he was young, he was adopted, and his name was Joel. I was really happy. He came up to me and told me that he was gay, and I accepted him. My half-brother is way older than us, so let's get back to my dad and my mom. Uh, when we were younger, they were in love, but they split, and my dad, I don't really know what happened to him. He kind of disappeared. But me growing up now, I kind of figured out what happened to him. He used to drink a lot, and he would pass out, and I found out he was an alcoholic. So that's probably what happened to him, which made me real sad. So now it's my mom, my sister, myself, and my younger sister. I was six, my sister was five, my older sister was seven. After my dad left, my sister, well, she kind of disappeared as well. I was so young, so I didn't really know what happened to her. She was taken away by these people that just came in our house, and I was so confused. So she was taken into this other house, and she lived with these other people, and I just didn't understand it. They told me she lived in a group home. What the hell is that place? I don't even know what that is, but I was kind of happy because she was with a lot of people. But then after a while, I became sad because she wasn't coming home. So now I gotta redraw my family. It's my mom, myself, and my sister, which is ridiculous. My family is slowly disappearing. But then again, me and my sister, we also was taken away into this home. I thought it was this group home, but it wasn't. They called it a foster home. And I was so confused. I had no idea what it was. It's pretty much a whole bunch of people living in this place who doesn't have a family. And it was me and my sister living with a whole bunch of strangers. And it was so confusing to me. I thought because I was living in a foster home, it made me a bad kid, and it made me feel so crappy and unwanted. And this is where it began, where I moved from house to house, all over the place, uh, with me and my sister. I did have visits with my mom and dad, but they were separated, so I would have one on one weekend, and the other on the next weekend. But when it came to my older sister, who was taken to the group home, I had no visits. There was like a time where it was like three years where I, where I didn't even see my older sister at all. I've just lived in so many different places like Brampton and Oshawa and Whippy and British Columbia. I was way out west. Because I was moving so much, I never fit into any schools. There were so many people and it was always me, but I was always the one that was left out. Because all these people were already friends for like so freaking long and then I'm just like the new kid and just didn't make friends. I never fit in. So the only real person that I had in life was pretty much my younger sister. She was the only family that I had left who I was living with and we were just so close in age. In the foster homes, they never fed us properly. There was like budgets, so I used to steal rice and foods for me and my sister, and like bread and chips and whatever I can get a hand on. And then the worst thing happened. Me and my sister, we split. Like what the fuck, are you serious? My only family mate was taken away from me into another foster home. So now I had no family and I was just so pissed off. This totally made me feel like shit, like I never belonged to anywhere, or nobody wanted me. Okay, so let's fast forward to where I almost am right now. So I actually ended up moving back in with my dad when I was about uh, 16 years old. Was I happy that I moved back in? Uh, no. Why would I be happy? I never lived with him my whole life. I moved back in and found out that he was still an alcoholic. And it just pissed me off so much that he didn't care. But it actually turned out to be a good thing that I moved back in with my dad. Because it was me. And then it was, well, that, that it's, not, it's not my sister. It's actually the love of my life. I met her in high school while living with my dad. Her name is Babe, but you guys can just call her Brittany. And, and she's changed my life forever. The way I look at things, the way I understand things, it's all changed. Me and her have been together four and a half years. So after meeting her, I went to college for architecture and I absolutely loved it. I was so passionate about love building buildings and designing it and houses. So I was there for two years and then I needed one more year of college. And then I realized I need another four years of university, which is a lot of schooling and I really don't want to do that. So I thought of this new thing, YouTube. So I wanted to make videos and I wanted to be known on YouTube. 
and it's been a blast. I'm not very creative with names, so I came up with Landon Production, which is clearly a long name. The first video I ever put up, I got like a whole uh, two views, and then I refreshed it, and I got another one, and then another one, and then another one. I was like, oh my god, people are actually watching my videos? And I realized it was only myself, so those views, yeah, they were only me, like none of the views. So this kind of like made me sad, and I stopped making YouTube videos for like a week. Also, a week later happened, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it another shot. So I made a video, and guess what happened? Lots of people were watching it, like lots of getting views, and like the thousands, and tens of thousands, and hundreds of thousands of views, and then millions of views, and I was like, oh my god, people are watching me. I feel like I am finally important, and I am meant for something. And then I realized, whoa, I can be making money off this. So I made money off this, and I gave it away to charity. Because I feel that a lot of people out there, a lot of kids out there, are in need of things. And I just want to give back. So today, I'm going to keep doing Landon Production. Keep making videos because that's what makes me happy. And I love doing it. I love making videos. So I'm going to keep making them for YouTube. And hopefully I continue to get your support. And with the money I make, I would love to start my charity thing once again. I want to give away so much money away to charities to those who need it. But I just want to say thank you guys so much, so, so much for watching this video right here. You guys made me like the happiest green guy ever with his tongue sticking out. So in my story, guess what? It had a happy ending. Thanks to you guys.